Hi friends, this is going to be a very quick update on the new features that I think are important for Java developers like you and me in the newly released Gradle version 7.3. And let's start before I forget on how you actually update Gradle. And the way you do this is to use the Gradle wrapper task and you say Gradle W wrapper dash dash Gradle dash version equals and then the new Gradle version which is 7.3 and that will update your project onto the latest version. Now sorry about the sun by the way but for us Java developers I think the most interesting feature is the fact that we can now run our project using Java version 17 and if you've been keeping track of this you'll know that Java 17 is the new LTS long-term support version of Java it supports features like sealed classes and loads of other stuff that I'll put a link to in the description. And it's great that you can now build your Gradle project using Java 17 and you can also compile and test your application with Java 17 as well. Also in Gradle 7.3 we've got a load of minor updates. So we've got things like improvements to the version catalogue which is a way of centralizing your dependency declarations in one place. And we've got some minor reliability and security improvements, which aren't that interesting, but it's good to know that Gradle are keeping on top of this thing. And there's one other big important feature that I really think makes it worth updating to this latest version, which is a new core Gradle plugin called the JVM Test Suite plugin. Now, up to this point with Gradle, if you wanted to separate your unit and integration tests, you had to have quite good knowledge of how to set everything up using the Gradle APIs to create a separate source set and other configuration, including creating a new task specifically for running integration tests. And you had to know that, or you had to use another third party plugin. But with this new JVM Test Suite plugin, Gradle has taken away that headache and made it super easy to configure this. If you want to see an example of this, as well as why we'd want to separate unit integration tests in the first place, then check out this video where I dive into all of this. So hopefully you have heard something here that makes you think it's worth updating. Let me know what feature is gonna convince you to upgrade this latest Gradle version 7.3. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video.